Manila Philippines Defense Secretary Delphin Lorenzana is looking forward to an array of military hardware from submarines to multi-role fighters that Moscow will be offering to the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, in a series of scheduled engagements during President Duterte's 5 e day visit to Russia. However, Lorenzana is silent over reports that the AFP is set to procure 16 units of Mi-17 medium-lift helicopters, worth $14.7 million from Moscow. Of course, they will interest us to buy their equipment, the Russia-bound defense chief said, when asked on the chances that the Philippine Navy submarine project will be discussed during the president's office aisle visit. Aside from its Kilo-class submarines, Russia has been offering the Defense Department its transport helicopters, attack helicopters, multi-role fighters, warships and tanks. The AFP already has a number of Russian-made army trucks and thousands of Alaska 47 assault rifles that Moscow handed over for free to the Philippines in 2017. They will give us a catalog of their products for our consideration," said Lorenzana, who was in Europe last month scouting for big-ticket items, in line with the second horizon of the AFP modernization program. Senior defense and military officials all declined to comment on the AFP's projected procurement of 16 M1 to 17 medium-lift helicopters from Russia. But a defense official said acquiring helicopters from Moscow is a project being considered by the national government. Russia has expressed willingness to assist the AFP in its modernization program and declared readiness to enter into a government-to-government -government deal. Just tell us what you need. We are here ready to help. What we can assure you, if you are going to procure military equipment for us, we are going to give you brand new ones and not second-hand," said a senior Russian embassy official during the setup of a permanent Russian defense attaché office in Manila last month. We are looking at acquiring some equipment for humanitarian assistance and disaster relief operations, but there are no specifics yet," Defense Secretary Delphin Lorenzana told Reuters. We are still discussing. Lorenzana said the Rosaboran export contract was not a sales deal, but signaled the Philippines' intention to acquire small arms, vehicles and special equipment for disaster operations. But the Philippines' biggest source of arms, the United States, was not worried of the prospect of equipment donated by its rivals China and Russia. I don't attach very much significance to it, some trucks or guns being dropped off to a country that's fighting terrorists right now," U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis told reporters on the plane to Bangkok. It's a sovereign decision by the Philippines, he added. So it's not a big issue other nations are coming to their help. The United States and China dominate regional arms trade. Since 2000, the United States has donated close to $1 billion worth of military equipment to the Philippines, ranging from surveillance planes, drones and boats to small arms. China, which promised to donate a third shipment of small arms after a meeting on Wednesday between Lorenzana and his Chinese counterpart, General Chang Wangquan, has already given the Philippines about $7 million in small arms. The deals with the Philippines will allow Russia to expand its arms market in the region," said another senior Philippine official, who declined to be named because he was not authorized to speak to media. The Philippines is now open to buying Russian arms, as Manila cultivates closer ties with Moscow, he added, particularly as the military looks to diversify its equipment, reigning in costs while maintaining quality. Moscow has been offering to sell arms to us since the mid-1990s, and they are willing to barter guns for bananas," he said, adding that Russia was selling fighters, helicopters and submarines to the Philippines.